There we go. There we go. Got the baby blues on today. The Beacons, as I said last week, are becoming my one of my favorite go-to shoes, especially on recovery days. Even though today I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little further than a typical recovery day, probably eight miles. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. And it's Monday, which means a new week and new opportunities, right? To push our fitness forward or backward. Maybe this is your time to rest. And I do just want to mention that. I am, a break is coming. Did I mention this yesterday? A running break is coming. I really believe in taking time off from running. It's not quite time yet. Maybe it will arrive sooner than I hope for because of my, my plantar fasciitis. We will see, staying flexible uh, in the training plan, finishing out 2018. All right, guys, and I will, yes, of course, let you know which shoe won the voting. If you voted four days ago as to which shoe I should purchase next and review for you guys, it's coming, stay tuned. But first, let's go get a Ronin. Come on, come on. Eight miles, eight miles at 7.30 a mile in, this, in the New Balance Beacons. These beacons are out of control. I love this shoe. I love the beacons. I'm very interested in the Vongos as well. But right now, this might be my favorite shoe. Okay, the taping I did, I taped back at the house and I need to do better at taping for my planter until it goes away. Anyway, I, I learned a method for taping on YouTube and essentially it's it helps, it helps. It, it, it doesn't, it's not gonna fix the plantar fasciitis, but it basically helps relieve the plantar fasciitis until I can take a break, which I already mentioned is coming in December. I am going to take a big break, but uh, not quite yet. Okay, going home and good run. Eight miles, got it done. Oh, time for dinner, time for dinner. What you love? Mm -hmm. The foot feels very, 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 very good. Oh, thank you, God. Very, 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 Woo! very good. So that's good, huh? That's such a relief. Yeah. It's feeling bonus Jonas. Honey, you probably just saved us $3,000. So, <laughs> no, seriously. Wow. I know. I'm really happy to hear that, Seth. Uh-huh. Dang, Gina. That's right, YouTube. We're eating, oh, no. we're eating dinner, and I'm just sharing... Uh, we do highs and lows at the family dinner table, and that is my high, for sure. Ah. Is that my foot feels really good. Fantastic. Really strange, but I, I'll talk more about it later. But hey, whoa. whoa! So it was a good we, tear. Yeah. Rupture. Rupture. Tear. Strain. strain pull. Miracle. Miracle. Michael Stone's pears on the ground. Good job doing your Taco. Pears. Ah, ah. All right, today's run on Strava, I uploaded and I put the title as virtually pain-free running and that's the truth after a, it the first mile was a little sore a little tender but after that it was very difficult to find the pain now i don't know if that was just because of the tape job that i did on the foot before i started running i'm, I'm not sure anyway very fascinating and yes the tacos were del delicious okay we are jumping in to the comments of the week and we're going to start off with one on strava from dave griffiths dave thank you for the comment he said 
just ran a five kilometer PB, personal best, time trial, out on my local streets in the cold and dark. Inspired by your YouTube channel, now watching today's vlog, I need recovery tips. Dave, thank you for the comment, congratulations, and that's amazing. Like, in the cold and dark, you lace them up, you get out the front door, and you go set a personal best in a time trial. Like, that's amazing, congrats, Dave. So that's the first comment of the week from Dave. The second one, hold on. The second one is from YouTube from, oh, I'm not gonna say his name right, Et Etienne Vlock. Etienne Vlock, I'm not exactly sure how to s apologize, but he said this on YouTube, fun, exclamation point. And this was in connection to the vlog about is running fun. And he said, fun, exclamation point, I'm a bodybuilder who got over substance abuse by hitting the gym. I've been going to the gym two to three hours a day for the past five years. I started running this year as a new challenge. I told myself that I'll run till I enjoy it. Then I can stop. Fast forward seven months later, and I'm totally in love with running. It makes me feel calm and just awesome. I enjoy it now, but there is no way I'll quit. Now I'll just be a bodybuilding runner until the day I die. Thank you for all the positive vibes. Thank you, Etienne. I'm just gonna say it that way. Thank you so much for that comment. And I'm just so excited for you that first of all, you beat substance abuse, that you found your outlet and something to help kind of guide you through this life, which I know we're all, you know, many of us out there like struggle with different challenges in this world. And so the fact that you're first of all, willing to share about your challenges and then also about how you overcame your substance abuse, amazing. Thank you for sharing a part of your story and you get the comment of the week. And yes, every week I give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. All right, onward to the next topic. And now the moment you've all been waiting for what will be the next running shoe that I purchase and review for you. And again, I'm here to attempt to put my ear to the YouTube glass to listen to you guys as close as possible. Like what type of content do you want? You already answered that question. What type of running shoes are you interested in? And that was the question I asked four days ago. And therefore, today I went through all of the comments and wrote down on a spreadsheet right here, I got it all listed for you, wrote down on a spreadsheet what is the next running shoe you would like me to purchase and review for all of you. And so, here are the results, I tallied them up. Thank you for your patience in getting to this point of the video, but are you ready? I'll do the top shoes here in a second, but there here are some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Solomon Snowcross, four points. Inov Mudclaws, only one. New Balance Vongo, only one. Skechers Razor, three. Three votes. Hoka Clifton, five. Three votes. And then the Saucony Peregrine, eight. Two votes. So again, those are some honorable mentions. Hopefully, we will get to those shoes at some point. I'm very interested in the New Balance Vongo. That's probably gonna be on my list soon, but okay. The top five shoes, let's get to them. Are you ready? There's a three-way tie for third place. Three-way tie for third place, each with 12 votes. The Ultra Escalante 1.5, the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast, and the Skechers Go Run Ride 7, all three of them tied with 12 votes. That was amazing. Three of the three shoes tied for third place. Second place, and it was close, guys. The Saucony Freedom ISO 2. The Saucony Freedom ISO 2. Amazing. 15 points. Thank you. 15 votes. And number one on the list for the next shoe for me to purchase and review for you. The Nike Vomero 14. Now, I realize it is a shoe that is about to be released everywhere. It's already live on a couple places, so hopefully I can get a, get my hands on a pair very soon. But the Nike Vomero 14 will be the next shoe that I purchase and run in and review for all of you. And yes, the keyword of the day is 14, the number 14 down in the comments. Did I mention the Nike Vomero 14 had 17 votes and the Saucony Freedom ISO 2 had 15 votes? So we're talking very close. I will go with the Vomero 14 this time because that's what you guys voted for. That one won, 
but the Freedom ISO is definitely on the radar. So don't be, don't be disheartened. There's a good chance it will be coming soon. We'll see, we'll see. And the question of the day. Now, I realize I've asked similar questions to this one. I realize that. But I don't think I've asked it quite in this direct way. And it's it's fairly open-ended, but uh, and yes, it is connected to shoes because today's video is about shoes. But essentially, Nike won this round. But I want to know what has been your go-to running shoe brand through, throughout your entire life. For me, I would probably have to go with Nike, mostly because at the University of Colorado, we were sponsored by Nike. So we got free Nike shoes for five years that I was there. But I wanted, like a lot of you are talking about Brooks and the Brooks Ghost and the Brooks... Um, glycerins and a lot of you are talking about new balance a lot of you about Saucony. so what is the brand loyalty that you have the most with is another way to phrase that question of the day thank you for letting me know why you love that brand and what like draws you to adidas to nike to reebok to new balance to Saucony, to oh my gosh um sketchers is like a new one that i have no familiarity with so let me know down in the comments i would appreciate it we're signing off tomorrow a long run and potentially vomero 14s i don't know i don't know i'm gonna try i'm gonna try for you guys all right seek beauty work hard and love each other thanks for being here See you tomorrow.